Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about warp. Um, well, this video is a bit of a sponsored one because yeah, it's not sponsored financially. They are sending um, a t-shirt and, and some stickers to me. Um, and I really like using this tool. So that's why I'm creating this video and they're sending stuff to me. And yeah, well, we're, we're, we're on talking terms, right? So let's dive into warp. Okay, so let's start off with their website, um, the terminal for the 21st century. Warp is a blazingly fast, Rust-based terminal reimagined from the ground up to work like a modern app. They're showcasing things like blocks, text editors, you can write multiple lines of text in here, um, command lookup, you can look up commands with the arrow keys, um, and you have a visual history of what you did uh, in Warp. So let's dive into it. I'm going to open up Warp here. And first of all, there is a lot of things you can adjust here. For example, um, if I open up in the top right corner here, there you have the settings icon. You also have uh, yeah, some what's new section, how to get started section, uh, maximize Warp and advanced setup. But yeah, whatever is new, or if there is an update, there will be a button here on the top that you can click on to update your, your version. Um, like for instance, I have the last version now and Warp AI is included. So we're going to talk about that later on in this video. So if you hit uh, the settings right here, um, you have account, you have appearances, and there are a lot of custom teams that you can, yeah, predefined teams actually, that you can use like Dark Light, Dracula, or something with a background, like uh, I've seen here some something like uh, with fishes here, with, yeah, a lot of cool things. Um, there are a lot of them available. Um, and there is also a GitHub repository where people, yeah, just in an open source way add their own themes but I'm going to stick with the default dark one because I, I kind of like that one. Um, we also have the possibility, and I'm going to show you this real quick, to change the opacity of the background and also the blur radius of the background. But I like to stick with, yeah, a fully dark one. You can um, do a lot of cool things with uh, paints, blocks, and, and text, and so on. You can uh, toggle every feature in here as well but I suggest you go through that. Um, you have keyboard shortcuts. You can actually adjust them. So for instance, um, just write a new command here or, or a key, key combination for that short, shortcut and then you're good to go if you hit save. But don't forget to hit save. You can also uh, go back with hitting the default button. So for example, I cleared it and I can set it back to default or I can say I wanted to have command shift and S there we go. But it says this shortcut uh, conflicts with another key bind. All right, so I just revert it to default and there we go. There's a section of shared blocks and I already did share this uh, a few moments ago. Um, yeah, just to test it out. All right, so just like any other terminal, you can hit uh, Command T to open a new tab and you can easily switch between tabs. You can drag them around as well. You can close them with uh, command W, you can use command N for a new window. Um, but in here is also the possibility to use paint. So if we hit command D, we have a horizontal split. Um, if we command shift D, then we have an, a vertical split. Um, it's the other way around, but yeah, whatever. You, you know what, I'm, what I mean, right? And we can easily navigate between panes by clicking them. And we can also close them up with Command W. All right, so next up, um, well, for instance, if I want to go to Documents, I can use the up arrow and down arrow to navigate uh, in my yeah folder structure here. So for, for example, I want uh, CWB um, and I want in here a lot of possibilities as well. If I hit that, um, I can use the uh, tab arrow, sorry, the up arrow to have a history of my commands. And I also can do a chain of commands, right? So um, 
mk dir for make dir uh, test dir sorry test dir and i can shift shift enter and i can say cd test dir and i can say touch index.html index.html and if i run that that should have been run so i have cd into into test dir and i created um yeah actually the index.html just in a few lines of code by using shift enter you can use it as text editor as well and i'm just going to go back and rm dash rf test dir there we go and now it's gone um, we can also if you use if you click in these uh, things right here they are called blocks so every command that you run will result in a block um, and that's actually quite cool um, and every block can be actually bookmarked so for instance I bookmark this one and you can see there's a little blue thing right here and I'm going to just do a few things there we go and if I click that I'm jumping back to that bookmark I can also ask uh, the AI warp AI for to imagine uh, check this out from like I ran this command CD but I got the following output brute um, and in here what should I do next if I hit that and then warp AI will respond with with a few suggestions but this is yeah something very stupid right right now so I just going to click this away and for instance here this block is quite long and you can see that the header here on top just sticks to the to the top of the the window and that's called the um, in the settings if I go back to settings the features um, where was it show sticky command header uh, this actually yeah is very handy to use if you just are down scroll down in the command and you, and you click the header then you jump up to the top of the command and so on and you can in these three dots here you can actually just let me close this in the three dots here you can actually yeah copy the command copy the output copy both or you can create a permalink and if I do that I can create a link copy the link and I've opened up the browser I paste it in here and I can actually share this with whoever I want to perform uh, yeah, some some tests or whatever or, or to just share what you did or uh, ask your colleagues for help or, or whatever. Very, very nice. Um, another cool feature here is actually, and I'm going to um, navigate to an, a real project for this, uh, just one moment. So I navigated to a, a real life project here, actually the workflow um, yeah, repository of Warp itself, but it's a forked one, so it's my own version. Um, and in here, if I just uh, touch uh, test.html, you can see that I have this git thing here and it just says you have uh, yeah one commit ahead, you will have one change ahead uh, of, of the master at this moment. and if if I touch another file, uh, I have two things that are changed in opposition to the main uh, branch, which is checking here. And I have told you before, we have something called workflows. If you hit command shift R, oops, uh, sorry, control shift R, you are presented with a workflow tab. You can create your own workflows or navigate through uh, a huge repository of uh, workflows. For instance, in the Laravel tab, this is uh, one that I created myself. And yeah, I contributed in the open source um, repository uh, with the PHP artisan commands. Um, and here you can just, yeah, if you want to help um, and search for a command, it's actually pretty easy. Uh, if you click one, it has, uh, this one drops all tables and runs Laravel migrations and seeders. It performs PHP artisan migrate fresh dash dash seed. This command will drop all existing tables and run database uh, Laravel's data Laravel database migrations after that with seeding the database at the end. I'm not going to perform this right now, but yeah, you get the uh, 
the clue, right? So that's pretty cool. You can just remember you can create your own workflows and just hit shift command, uh, sorry, sh uh, yeah, control shift R. Um, and here my workflow tab will be filled with all the workflows you create yourself. And if you click this, you're directed to the documentation uh, and there is explained pretty neatly how you can do that. All right, if you hit command P, you're actually, um, yeah, you can search everything you can do here. For example, I want to know everything about pains um, and your shortcuts will be presented for you. Um, you can easily search in here. So, all right, just one, one last thing here. Um, if you hit the lightning icon here, you open Warp AI and you can see the command that we did previously, but we can just, uh, how can I start, who, uh, how can I, I start a new Laravel project. There we go. And actually AI will generate an answer for us. So for instance, um, the answer is right here. Uh, to start a new Laravel project, you need the following steps, blah, 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 uh, install composer, um, open terminal and, and so on. Um, yeah, actually this is quite cool that we have AI into the terminal here. Um, yeah, that is something that makes Warp completely amazing to work with and I can't wait for new features to land in this. Um, so yeah, big shout out to the team at Warp um, and I do hope the t-shirt comes through customs because it's currently in customs in, uh, in the airport. Uh, but I really enjoy using this tool. Um, so I hope you learned something from this video and I will see you in one of the next videos. Take care. Bye bye.